Hey guys, this is YT42, and welcome back to some more Pikmin. Last time, we uh, went to the Forest of Hope, again, to collect some ship parts. And now, we can explore the Forest Navels. So let's go. This, even though most people would not agree, is my favorite area. Just because it looks nothing like a forest, or has grassy ground. In every single area of the game, other than the forest navel, it has grassy ground and it bothers me so much because I want variety. Pikmin 2 delivers that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get out maybe uh, 20 yellows. We don't need that much. Okay, and I'm gonna get out um, maybe 30 reds. No, actually, maybe 40. So that way we have 50 in the field. My bad, 60. Why did I say 50? I, I don't even maths, bro. But um, I'm gonna get, have them straight onto this wall. Now I'll go around here. That's a geyser, by the way. Uh, Olimar can jump into the geyser and fly back up. What's this? It's a blue onion. I wonder what kind of Pikmin can uh, will pop out of this, considering that we had a red for the red and blue f and yellow for the yellow. Gee, it's a blue Pikmin. Well, it's a blue Sprout anyway. I wonder if it will be a blue Pikmin. Hurry up. Gee, a blue Pikmin. Oh yeah. Um. So blue Pikmin. Uh. Well, I should I should probably say this now. Um. Near this one's cheek seems to be some gills. I've never seen the gills. I've seen the mouth, but not the gills. Anyway. Uh, red Pikmin are immune to fire and uh, have 1.5 times attacking power than uh, yellow and blues. Yellows and blues. Um, yellow Pikmin can be thrown higher and hold bomb rocks. In later games, they're immune to electricity and they become actually useful. Blue Pikmin are immune to water. That's it. <laughs> but they are useful. Okay, so that's the last type of Pikmin. Yeah, it's day four, and we already have every single type of pick- Stop. Okay, as you saw around there, that is a bread bug. Bread bug. No. Pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. Aw, oh, you're an idiot. I hate you. Okay. So, the bread bug will actually grab what you are carrying at the moment, and then pull it in for, him pull it in for himself. Now, um, he's grabbing that blue pellet, so... Yeah, we're not, we're not getting that. We'll get that one. Guess we'll get a less, a less blue than what we normally have. Whatever. So until they break down that wall, we're just sprouting some blues. In fact, have they broken it down? I can't. I can't. I can't see. Okay, let's get that one. Let's get this one. Oh, the red bug just left it. Why did the bread bug leave it? Okay, have they broken down the wall yet? Yep, they've broken it down. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get them to... What am I actually gonna get them to do? Crap. Uh, they can go... Work on this! You can work on this, because this takes... Oh yeah, by the way, be very, very careful. Because, uh... Those thing actually no 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 they can work on this 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 this is a ship part but be careful of those bridges because if a Pikmin is underneath them uh, if a Pikmin is underneath a bridge they will instantly die it is a glitch that has bothered me for so damn long it really really annoys me it it's only in the first Pikmin game but it is annoying while it is in the first Pikmin game. But actually, as soon as we pluck all these, if you look at the map, this is a big area. This is a really big area. Look how big that is. And there are several ship parts. Well, it's not the biggest area, but, you know, it's big. There are several ship parts everywhere. And <sighs> most people hate this area. Four, five. But I love this area. As I already explained. So we already got a ship part going back there. Whoa, she wigs. Okay, be careful. 
Those are basically f uh, male shear grubs, except they can uh, go into the sky once half their health is taken out. And uh, you can't attack them while they're up in the sky, so be careful. Pluck faster, Olimar. It takes so long. Oh yeah, um, be careful too, because... Uh, Um, any Pikmin that is not blue, uh, if they go into the blue's territory at the moment, okay, they will uh, die because there is water. Okay, you guys, you guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, be careful. If if uh, a Pikmin catches on fire, then you wanna whistle it. What I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to get the bread bug to grab to grab a um, thing that is being carried back. Okay, is he gonna grab on? No, get him, get him. Okay, now you want to have your Pikmin carrying that back. And they will be uh, the bread bug will be pulled, which is incredibly useful. Okay, what do I want to go for here? Because I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, I want a lot of blues. I need a lot of blues for uh, this one right here, and uh, this one here because that's in water. Any shaded bits like that, that's in water. Hmm. Okay, we can't get this one now. Um, we're not getting that one. We're not getting this one. Well, maybe we'll get one of those today. And we'll probably get this one. See, so yeah, that's actually what I'm going to go get. So I'm going to take some Pikmin with me. Oh yeah, you can bang your head against the rocks. That, 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 that's, that's a great idea, Pikmin. It's a great idea. Actually, no, no, guys. Give this to the blues. Alright. So, as you can see, there is a bomb rockable. Yeah, I said that. Wall at base. I never usually get that one. Um. I don't know why. But. Yeah. Because there are a lot of places that you have to use bomb rocks. Or where you have to use bomb rocks, anyway. Alright. Get this back. Right, now, if a bread bug is being carried, boop, that will uh, nearly take him down, but um, he was already hit a bit for some reason. He'd already been uh, attacked a bit, so um, he, he got killed. Yeah, he booped his head and he died, pretty much. Boop, 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 boop. Also, you want to make sure that um, no other type of pigment is carrying something that a blue has. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's a space float, by the way. Olimar seems to gloat about himself a lot as well. Seems to go like he he went um like this is just for uh, newbies. Even though I'm a veteran, I just like to have it just in case. All right. No, I don't want to go up the geyser. I want to take down this bridge. Wow, they're getting this done fast. Well, faster than I thought they would. Look how cool that looks! Whoa, that looks really cool. Oh, yeah, one thing that I still haven't demonstrated is the maximum amount of Pikmin in the field. It's actually t 100. But I didn't bring out a hundred because I thought I'd raise up some more Pikmin, and I never did. So yeah. So I'm actually going to stay here while they take down this bridge. Because um, those are fiery blowhogs, those enemies, and they breathe fire. And uh, yeah, only, 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 only reds are immune to fire. So I'm hoping to at least get three ship parts, which I will. Right. 
Now what I want to do is I want to get my reds and take down these fiery blue hogs. Okay, so we've got 42 reds. So what you want to do is, by the way, Olimar is not immune to fire, so be careful. Oh no, I don't like this because they're being thrown under the bridge. Under the bridge is not good because that's instant death pretty much. Throw them this way. Yeah, if they're fighting a Blowhog, they pretty much can't get ki uh, killed. Well, a Fiery Blowhog, anyway. Well, I suppose Watery Blowhogs don't come in until the next game. Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I forgot how much health that takes off. Remember, if you need, if you need health, just go back to the ship, into the front of the ship. And restore your health. And he is done. Got a lot of butts. Well, okay, yeah. Uh, be careful of that enemy. That is probably my least favorite and uh, my least favorite enemy in this game. That is a Wallywog. Yeah, a Wallywog is basically just. He crushes your Pikmin. That's it. Be extremely careful. Okay, go that way. No! You guys are so stupid. Ugh. Okay, can't you guys, like, work on that, please? Great. They're working on it? Thank you. Alright, I want to be careful. No one's underneath the bridge. No one is underneath the bridge. Thank you. Stupid glitch. Okay, now I'm going to take the rest of the Pikmin. Where are the, re where are the rest? Okay, they're all over there. And there are some sprouts at the blue base. So, I'm going to be raising up some blues. Because I need a lot of blues at the moment. I don't really care what kind of pellet they get. Oh, you're kidding. They get every single one except the blue one. Ugh, whatever. Alright. Take it down while it's blue? No, nope, not happening. Just get that. Alright, I actually want to get my yellows. And, oh. No, the Wally Walk's too far. Okay, as you can see up there, that is a, uh, a candy pop bud. You throw a Pikmin in of a different color, and they come out as a yellow Pikmin, if it's uh, a yellow one, or a uh, gold one, as the game calls it. Uh, blue, if it's uh, lapis lazuli. And uh, red, if it's crimson. Found the gravity jumper, didn't read that. Whoops. Okay, now um I wanna actually split off so that way I get everything except the yellows carrying that back. I've got four blues. Well, they're all working the rest of them are working on stuff. Okay, so we're getting a lot of Pikmin ri uh, risen today. Risen. Born. Okay, yeah, you guys can come. So we're actually going to get some bomb rocks here, and I'm actually going to bomb down base. They find so many bomb rocks in there. That's a lot of bomb rocks. Okay, wow. I'm actually not going to work on that, because I'm just going to throw them up here. Throw my picks up there. My, my little Pikmin. Throw them all up there. Then, I'm gonna go back around. And grab them. Yeah, we're definitely got not, not gonna get the fourth ship part that I was thinking of. Which is in there, and that is a painful area. Okay. The camera, the camera adjusting is so annoying in this game. Well, in these games, I suppose. 
actually. Yeah, I'm gonna take the down the wall at base first, because that's gonna make life a lot easier. Right, let's get you all up here. Okay, I can't tell if that's uh, black or white. Yeah, it's black. I'm not trying to intentionally be racist or anything. Whoa, okay, it is sunset. <laughs> As you get- oh, <laughs> The wall nearly exploded, it did. Okay, we've got the gravity jumper. Okay, let's get all these Pikmin. Yeah! That really annoys me in my practice playthroughs when I don't bust down that wall. Oh crap, he's gone. Whoa! He didn't die?! Holy crap! Okay, we're gonna wanna get these guys. Okay. Now, we need to... Technically, these guys would be safe. I mean, because they're, they're at their base, but, you know. Better safe than sorry. Maybe better base than sorry. Okay, that... <sighs> I should not be a person of bad puns. So, I think I've got everyone. Free, 15, I believe they're all just planted. Or am I wrong? And then there are like 15 Pikmin out there somewhere. No. They're all planted. Come back! You can blame it all. Oh, let's try and count them all. See if there actually are 15. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh. Well, I'm happy with that day. That was alright. I like that. See the blue onion over there? Wally Wogs, they're the worst enemy. Especially when we get to the next area, it has yellow Wally Wogs, which are even worse. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both on land and water, or water and land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Where are the xenomorphs? Okay. We lost none! Sweet! Lost none, lost none, lost none, lost none. Yay. We've got 21 parts remaining and 26 days remaining. We're ahead of schedule. Let's save. And not touch the power button or reset. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Uh, that's, that's been the end of day five, oh, day four. So, hey guys, it's been YT42, and I'll see you guys next, uh, see you guys tomorrow. See you guys then.